<sighs> so they decided to release the trailer at 2.30 in the morning where I live. So that means I had to have a mostly full day of school, uh, try to avoid spoilers, and only now at like 3.30 in the afternoon I can finally record this. What a life, eh? <laughs> Howdy pop culture partners, my name is Mikhail Khalid and welcome to another reaction video. This one is very special, I did not want to miss this. Uh, that's why I've been, I've been holding off. Thankfully I haven't been spoiled, I didn't really look much online and even though I did a little, I would have I wouldn't have been surprised if I was spoiled, but I haven't. Uh, the new Spider-Man No Way Home trailer came out yesterday, and I hear it's pretty good. Of course, I've heard some complaints. I'm sure uh, I know <laughs> why, uh, uh, because of what's in it or what's not in it, if you catch my meaning. But um, yeah, we'll just react to it now. I won't talk uh, much more. Uh, well, I am a little excited. Of course, it's Spider-Man. I really hope I can watch it. Um, around when it releases at the end of the year, and I really hope I can watch it as soon as it hits, or at least hits, once it arrives. Um, because, you know, once it comes out within a few days, there will be spoilers already. I heard that in the UK, it's gonna come out like a day or two earlier, <laughs> so there's that. And um, because of, you know, COVID stuff and everything now, there's like a whole social pass thing, like you, you need to be vaccinated or proven negative. Uh, for 48 hours like proof of that physical proof so that you can go indoors and that includes watching films I Personally don't want to take the vaccine. Uh, I don't want to start any arguments if you want to that's personally fine just my uh, You know motives beliefs, whatever um, Like if you have it, it's fine. I'm not gonna start anything, but personally I don't believe in it or want it and I would um, like get just get a test uh, so that I'm negative but uh, you have to pay for that and that's like twice as much almost as uh, the, the, the the movie ticket <laughs> so it's really not worth it so what I would try to do is once there are a bunch of movies see which ones are very close to each other either in a day or two pay for a test and then within those 48 hours watch as many movies as you possibly can that's kind of what I want to do with my family in December um, so I guess we'll see how it happens and before we watch the trailer, guys, I really want to just thank you all, first of all, for the support, uh, you know, coming coming here, subscribing and everything. And uh, after you've watched this video, if you've, you've enjoyed it, please hit the like button. It really does show support. If you're interested in more types of videos, you can, uh, by all means, check my channel, uh, check our Discord server in the channel bio. Uh, we post a bunch of different things. It's quite wholesome there and on my channel. I post a bunch of different things, you can see uh, if you like it, and if you do like it, it would mean a lot if you subscribe, and please don't forget to hit the bell, it's very, very important uh, nowadays, if you don't hit the bell, you don't get anything, a lot of people somehow still forget that, so please don't. So without further ado guys, here is the trailer right here, oh, let me just, yep, it's uh, 1080p, perfect, Spider-Man No May Home official trailer, I wonder if the other one was a, more of a teaser. But uh, I would take way too long talking about what we saw, like the little glimpses we saw in the first trailer. But from screenshots and stuff I've seen recently, it seems like we might get a lot more out of this trailer. So honestly, I am pumped. This is three minutes. This is going to be a joy ride. Let's go. <laughs> well, is that New Goblin? I was, first, I was waiting for Green Goblin. Ever since I got bit by that spider. I've only had one week where my life has felt normal. That was when you found out. Huh. Oh my lord. When you botched that spell where you wanted everyone to forget the Peter Parker Spider-Man. We started getting some visitors. Just... Small thing, I know I'm interrupting, and this is like iconic. We heard his laugh, we saw his pumpkin bomb. This meant a lot to a lot of people. I just want to say the Spider Man MCU movie trailers have the best like violins in their trailer music. I just want to say they begin with amazing violin strums and they get me hyped every time. Just kudos to them. Trailer music is important. From every. There he is. 
Ooh, more looks at the suit. At the golden suit, we're calling it, I think. Hello, Peter. That line has always gotten to me. Like, that delivery is phenomenal. Oh, Lord of mercy. Yep, well, not yours. I'm sorry, what was your name again? Dr. Otto Octavius. Oh! <laughs> Uh, Wait, no, seriously, what's your actual name? Okay. Uh, they are not helping him. I really hope they're not helping him. That's Electro. You know, all this is kind of your mess. I know a couple of magic words myself, starting with the word please. Please, Scooby Doo, this crap. <laughs> I'm really interested as well to see Doctor Strange's role. You're flying out into Yay! Jackie Simmons returning is the mean? ultimate W. They all die fighting Spider-Man. It's their fate. I'm sorry, kid. Yeah, me too. Don't. Oh, that's why he takes it. I'm still a little confused as to why he takes it. There isn't. They're a danger to our universe. What? Oh, there he is! He's back! Jimmy Fox is back as Electro! Let's go! I wonder what that box means, like, why he takes it. Willem Dafoe is back as Green Goblin. Freaking go! Lizard and and Sandman! Yo, this is gonna be nuts! Oh, that was Ned as well. What's happening? They're starting to come through, and I can't stop them. December 17th, exclusively at movie theaters. Oh, Tickets on yeah. sale November 29th, Spider Monday. <laughs> oh, they're promoting the games. That's awesome. Nice. Hey, that was, that was, that was good. I don't know why people keep saying they're disappointed. Bro, if you don't want to be disappointed, then they're not going to show the, what you want to see and wait for you to actually watch the movie. If they just show it now in the trailers, your, like, excitement will be reduced when you watch the actual film. And if you keep denying it, then you, you can't because you're wrong. You, st you still won't be a surprise. I personally do not mind at all. If you still can't catch what I'm talking about, they're talking about seeing the other Spider-Man. Like, if we, we're getting the other's villains, there is surely a chance that the other Spider-Man are coming back. I, with, with all the leaks and stuff like that, it would be a surprise if they weren't in the film. But honestly, I could 100 and... Oops, sorry, my cable there doesn't look too good. I could 110% wait um, until... I see the actual film to see the other Spider-Man. Like, I enjoyed different aspects from them. I personally enjoyed um, Andrew Garfield the most before Tom Holland. Tom Holland is my favorite, but seeing them come back in such a in such a way would be amazing, but what would be more amazing is the feeling on the big screen once you watch that and know, yep, we were right, they're here, and you, you wouldn't get that same feeling if you're just here watching it at home or just wherever on a small screen. And it's like, oh yeah, cool, they're gonna be here. Like, it's, it's, it's not the same. Of course they want to keep many surprises. Oh, wait, I can, I can actually take this off. <laughs> uh, they're, 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 of course, gonna keep surprises for us for when we watch the actual thing. That's normal. I don't know why people want to see them so bad. If it's such a big secret, let's wait until the actual moment. The buildup will be, will be so much better. It's, it's, it's tiresome to see people get upset over nothing and act childish over this. Like, the amount of leaks for this film and people's reactions, like, my, my expectations are normal. I'm, I'm expecting this to be any other Spider-Man movie for the most part. And of course, the fact that we're seeing past characters from different, like, universes come back, th that of course adds a lot. But for now, I'm just expecting it to be good like i'm not blowing my expectations away like i'm not hyping this to be such a huge thing and i'm not like keeping myself completely low in expectations to then feel like the movie's gonna be awful like i'm normal and you should all have your expectations normal for this movie because like you'll get the best experience like the most neutral like you'll know how you feel perfectly by the end once you've watched it in december 
if you keep your expectations low, if they don't show us any of the big surprises in the trailers. It's just common knowledge. I don't know how people get this so wrong sometimes. I don't know, if you're really, really hyped for it, I'm, I'm happy for you, really. But sometimes just keep it a little low. And if you're already saying that this is going to be the worst Spider-Man movie, it looks so awful and stuff, just maybe, maybe chin up a little bit. Like, I don't know. You never know. Really, you never know until you've watched the movie. Um, like, at least that's, at least that's what I think. Give it a chance once it comes out. Stop immediately thinking from any little trailer or promotional material what you think it might be. And watch, and just watch it. Like really, you'll, you'll have the best experience, I promise. I don't know if it's hard or not, but... Um, so, I didn't even talk about the trailer. Wow, I just went on a little rant there. I <clears throat> highly apologize. Um, again, I'm happy with this trailer because it mostly just confirms very little hints we got in the first trailer. The first, the hints, hints we got were so small yet so distinct and so impactful for a lot of people. Like just the Hello Peter at the very end of the first trailer gives me chills every time because it's just, oh my god. The best villain from the Raimi-verse states that. And it's like, and, and it's also kind of cool because people said it's very smart editing in the trailer because he possibly, he probably isn't talking to Tom Holland, maybe he is when he's in the suit or maybe he's even talking to different Peter, but because of the context of this trailer, it really doesn't seem like the other Spider-Men are gonna come at the beginning, maybe even at the end, like the third act of the film. Maybe they're keeping it for the very end, who knows? Uh, and also the fact that like they were letting Doc Ock in, they were showing themselves, their identities, like that's Doc Ock. That's like probably Spider-Man's most dangerous, you could probably say it's Venom, but he probably, Venom is probably his arch nemesis, but to me, the arch nemesis and most dangerous and my favorite villain for, of Spider-Man is Dr. Octopus. And the fact that Peter hasn't met him yet is making fun of his name, like, of course it's kind of childish. There's that youthful energy amongst the actors. They do an excellent job. Can't wait to see all of them in the film. And uh, it's kind of ironic, you know, his, his biggest villain is staring him in the face and he's making fun of his name. Well, technically not his, but a version of him. You get what I mean. Um, so that was Doc Ock. I love that they're confirming other villains. Like, we were really speculating in terms of... No, it was basically confirmed with the pumpkin bomb and the laugh that the, the Green Goblin was coming back. I cannot believe they got a line with Willem Dafoe in there. Um, so that's cool. I did not expect to see the new Goblin. I wonder how... I wonder if they're gonna interact. Like, I remember mainly... Oh gosh, if you're if you're real old and you uh, have played Spider-Man Friend or Foe, if you know about it, it was basically this two-player game, very repetitive. It was basically just a beat-em-up childish Spider-Man game. It had its charms, I guess. And I remember this one YouTuber, Godzilla Mendoza, very funny, a, a perfect G YouTuber. He's amazing. The, the opening cinematic shows all of Sp this Raimi Spider-Man villains. It is a spin-off of the Raimi vs. Spider-Man, and basically. The new goblin and the green goblin were in the same scene and he was just commentating over it. It's like, Harry, your dad's not dead. Look at him. I didn't kill him. He's not dead. You're not going to notice anything? Like, that was very funny. I cannot believe that went over their heads. But here, maybe they could take it seriously. Who knows? And we would have the inside knowledge of it from the past three films. Uh, that would be cool, I guess. I just wasn't expecting new goblin whatsoever. I wonder if that means James Franco is coming back. Um, super excited to see um, Jamie Foxx as Electro come back. Like he had a lot of potential. I kind of liked his role, uh, his um, yeah, his role, like his acting, and oh, I, f I feel like I'm blanking out on a word. Um, his take, you could say, on Electro and the Amazing Spider-Man 2. It had a lot of potential, but unfortunately, we know what happened with that movie. Uh, here, maybe it's a second chance, maybe it'll just be a mostly cameo. I feel like all of these are going to be, some are going to be, like, plot starters or plot movers, and some maybe long cameos, because it's not just going to keep them in for a, a few seconds or a minute. Like, some of them have to have big roles, so seeing Jenny Fox, um, uh, Sorry, I, I looked at my phone for a second, I got distracted. Seeing him in the classic Electro colors gets me super hyped. And the fact that we were speculating so much about Electro and Sandman in the last trailer, and now we just got a freaking whole sandstorm face of his. That That's nuts. So, 
all the villains practically confirmed in this trailer, but no other news on the other Spider-Man. Again, they're keeping that a surprise, and I am 110% okay with that. Honestly, I'd kind of be disappointed if I saw them here, because it's like, why would you reveal them in the trailer? Like, maybe a tiny hint, a tiny, tiny hint. The hint is already here with the villains. Like, now it's just up for speculation. It's a really 50-50 chance. And uh, I'm just excited to see, you know, um, once December comes. Uh, hopefully I can get lucky to see it on time, you know. <laughs> so, those are my thoughts on the trailer. Uh, super excited. Um, people are speculating also for, because of some of the scenes is going to be very dark. Maybe Peter might lose some of his friends or family. That would be curious, especially to see how it goes forward because there are rumors as well that there are maybe more Spider-Man movies. Oh, that's a male. Ignore that. <laughs> Um, again, I'm genuinely cur curious about this movie. The last two Spider-Man films have a dear, uh, very dear place in my heart right now. Homecoming and No Way Home, uh, Far From Home. Really, really enjoyed the heck out of those films. And uh, this movie seems like, just it seems to go in a whole other direction. It seems like a normal Spider-Man movie, kind of, and then there, it just blows it out of the water 100%, so... It's, it's very unique. I, I cannot wait. Uh, so what did you think of this trailer? Were you disappointed? Are you more hyped? Are you just neutral? You hyped for the film in general? Um, please let me know and uh, yeah, I'd love to talk about it and stuff. And if you enjoyed this video, like I asked before, it would be amazing if you could uh, like the uh, yeah, like it if you enjoyed it. Um, subscribe if you're interested in the channel, if you want to see some more reaction videos. Um, and other content I make, don't forget to hit the bell, and please, have a wonderful morning, day, evening, whichever. Ladies and gentlemen, I will see you next time. Take care, and goodbye.